This is Code.org. I'm currently working on their CS Principles course. I'm doing the Data Tools unit. I'm on Lesson 14, Visualizing Data Puzzle 3. Congratulations, you made a chart in your app. What does it all mean? It means we made a chart. Oh, we're going to go through and kind of edit it some. Okay, draw a chart from records parameters. You may have noticed in the last in the last level that the draw chart from record block had a number of different parameters. Yes, I messed with them. You already used the first two, ID and chart type, in the last level. In this level, you will learn how to use the next two parameters. The table name parameter lets you specify which table from the database you want to use in your chart. This parameter becomes especially important if you have more than one table, more than one table in your database. Okay. The columns parameter lets you specify which columns from the table you want to use when making your chart. Columns is actually an array of strings. Oh, that's good to know. And each string specifies the name of a column to be used in your chart. In most cases, the first element in columns will represent which table column you want to use as the x-axis. Okay, so the first one, x-axis. The for your scatter chart, the second element in columns will represent the table column you want to use for y. All right. Do this. Open the data viewer and look at the data you've been provided. Add a UI chart element to your app. Use the draw chart records block to create a scatter. Alrighty. Data. Rotten Tomatoes. Oh, same stuff. Different name on the movies. Okay. So, design, we need a chart. And then we need a descriptive ID, of course. Main chart for me, code. And then we want draw a chart and chart id I mean chart and scatter change the table name to match the name of the database yep um which was rotten tomatoes hopefully now oh, let's double check oh they did it like that of course Oh, no, I got it. Okay. And then... Tomato meter. So we're just typing in the word. Tomato meter. And that will give us the column with that title for X. And audience will give us the column with that title for Y. Right? So we should have columns. Yep, tomato meter and audience. Um, I'm wondering, since they're lowercase here, if they must be over here. I would assume so, but let's try. Yeah. Let's try it this way. But uh Beautiful. Ha! Huh. Cool. All right, let's uh, keep going.